First, from the night team, the pros and cons of a proposal to ban bartenders from drinking on the job. News 3's Brad James and learning what it could mean for you and business owners. Brad? Well, Maria, the bill was introduced earlier this year by Representative Josh Zepnick of Milwaukee, but local business owners and their customers believe it could be a waste of time. This will probably be the busiest weekend of the year for us. Homecoming weekend, and at State Street Brats, the beer is flowing. Bartenders are serving, not consuming. I have a lot of people that offer to buy shots for the bartenders or for me when I'm working on the bar, but they're usually really understanding when you say, sorry, it's our policy, we can't drink while we're on the job. While that's policy at this bar, it could become state law if a bill passes the Assembly and Senate. we got to use a little discretion in this world. Bruce Disher of Oshkosh feels businesses should decide how to handle employees. As long as they don't get out of control, and they know what's going on in the place. Um, are, are we going to police everything to the point where there's zero tolerance for everything? UW Madison Jr. Stephen Durst agrees, saying legislators should have higher priorities. I think they have more important things, especially when it comes to drinking. Uh, you know, drunk driving legislation, underage drinking laws. Uh, they shouldn't be dealing with uh, simple business things like that. And when it comes down to it, running a business comes first. And employers know sober employees make better decisions. I think it makes people more prone to uh, bad cash handling or doing things that they wouldn't do if they were sober. Interestingly enough, everyone I spoke with tonight feels that this is not an issue for the state to get involved with. That includes the Dane County chapter of the Tavern League. A spokesman says the state should pick its battles. And this is not one worth fighting. Well.